experience. Back to winning ways as well with those four goals against Wolves. Here is the Liverpool manager. Well, Jürgen, how good was that? The, the fans back, the performance, and then, of course, your uh, special celebration in front of the cop uh, is back too. Yeah. Wasn't it a perfect night? To be honest, um, imagine 10 months ago, somebody would have told us we have a home game and only 2,000 people show up. We would have thought, OK, proper crisis, the football must be really bad. And now tonight it was so enjoyable, it was so nice. When we came out for warming up, we, were, we all had goosebumps. It was like, oh my God. I said to the boys in the meeting before, I have no idea how it will feel, how it will be. So if it's good, we have to use it. If it's bad, we have to ignore it. So that's how it is. W was it better than much you, better, you much better? In what sense? It was it was perfect. The, the, the noise, what the people did, they were they were on their toes. That you could see and feel and and pretty much smell that they they, they waited so long for it. And um, all of them here on the cob, here on main stand, we were really a little bit apart from each other. Um, but they were all here to support a football team. And how much do you think they added to your performance in the second half especially? S sustained it, made it better? Look, I think we are now so long used to play without a crowd. And then each little, each little positive you can get in this moment in life in general, it's, it's nice. If you read, when we all when we read the newspaper, the vaccine will come, it was like, whatever weather was outside, the sun was shining for all of us. And, and so it was tonight in the second half. It's so much more enjoyable um, when the people are involved. This game would not be the game we all love if we would have played it always without supporters. Of course not. But we have to do it in the moment. Just, and if there's any sense in it, then it's only that we appreciate um, these kind of things, 2,000, 3,000, hopefully four, five, six thousand 6,000 in, in, in the next few weeks or months, um, that it just normality is coming back, then that we appreciate that even more. The first uh, Premier League game for your goal, young goalkeeper, Quiven Kelleher, and a, and a very important save, would you agree? <laughs> very good game. You look at the goalkeeper for us is, yes, goalkeepers are all about saves, of course, and it was brilliant. But um, apart from that, it's about contribution. So what, what can he bring involved in the game? And, that makes him a really special talent, to be honest, because he's really calm on the ball. His personality is very calm, um, and and he uses that. Technically, he's outstanding with his feet, um, playing um, the main part of his youth football time as a, as, a, as a outfield player helps. And so, yeah, good to have him. What more can you say about Mo Salah? Because it was a key goal, obviously tonight, to get you underway. Only Lewandowski and Messi have scored more goals at home in the last three years, three and a half years? Well, I'm not surprised, to be honest. Um, Mo could have scored more than both of them, that's the truth, because he's just an exceptional good player. Um, all the goals were exceptional. I love the, I love the set-piece goal. Right? Uh, so Pete Kravitz, who's obviously responsible in our coaching team for set-pieces, he said, on a, he, I told him, you sit on a, on a bench like we, like we conceded a goal after a set-piece. He was like, exactly like he planned it, exactly like it should have been. So that was really good. When Trent came on, by the way, Trent came on, which is good, but Nico played outstanding. He just yellow card, bringing Traore on that side. The plan was obviously to get him in one more challenge and then he will, we will be with 10 men. Um, so that was the reason for that. But then Trent comes on, nice little cross, next goal, so all good. A great goal from Genie Wijnaldum. <laughs> um, he, he was smiling away. What, 